the things I love more than anything in life would have not happened if I did not get sober. I love photography. It only happened because I got sober, sober. I live in Colorado. We're not talking Colorado sober. I was for a time, that means you just smoke weed to do a lot of mushrooms. That's not what I'm talking about here. I still do mushrooms, but you know, every once in a while. Yeah, A, I'm an addict. And that's the most important thing. The fact that I am an addict is what drove me to obsessively fill the void left by alcohol and weed and that fog and the, the numbness that that brought on brought me to fill it with photography and video work. Um, at first it was stand-up comedy. I uh, did a lot of stand-up, I do a lot of stand-up comedy. And at the time it was like open mics every night of the week, trying to get good, trying to get better, uh, trying to find anything funny to say. And um, I continued to go to the open mics after I got sober. And th that shit was boring. Um, that shit, uh, there's a lot of waiting around. If you're not familiar with the comedy open mic, and if you're in a bigger market like Denver or New York, Chicago, LA, Houston, you know, the, you're gonna wait a lot to go up at an open mic. And the open mic is the only place to get better. I had to be there. And I had to figure out, for the love of God, something to do. And I had a camera for a while. Um, up until that point, I had the Canon Rebel T3i, 3Ti, whatever. And I was using that for video, mostly, video work sketches and uh, failed YouTubes and whatnot. Um, and I was like, I should figure out how to do photography with this. I should take, figure out how to take photos. Um, I, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, oh, by the way, if you want to just want to skip ahead, there's, I take some photos at the end of this in Kenosha, Wisconsin. So if you can just skip ahead if you want. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I was really bad at taking photos, even though I had a decent camera and decent lens, um, because I never really took the time to learn how to do it. That's really the only reason. Um, I have I have an eye for it, as I've like realized, just by the act of doing it and learning the technical skills, and then you know finding that that extra level that I, that I think I kind of bring to the photos. And yeah, I never took the time. Like white balance and indoor outdoor and uh, tungsten, you know, ISO aperture, all of that was learned a, a year and a half ago. Where after six months of being at these open mics, miserable, uh, I was like, I gotta, I'm just gonna fill the time doing something else. And I also benefited from the fact that I was surrounded by comedians every night and love their photo taken. Stand up comics love it. If you wanna. This is okay. I've told my sister this, and you know, if you ever want to like find a community to like really practice your photography, uh, go to a local open mic, go to a local show, and you will find everyone there mostly wants a photo because they love to post it online and be like, "Look, I'm out here. I'm doing my thing. I'm I'm on my journey." And um, yeah, it was silly, um, but it's like real. And you know, as long as, as the one, the moment you learn how to do photos by using them as your as your uh, subjects, uh, go to a different community because you're not gonna make any money, real money doing photo for com photos for comedians. But um, you're gonna have a lot of fun, make, be, meet meet a lot of beautiful people um, on the inside. We're ugly, grimy folk on the out. But uh, yeah, it was nice. Like it, and that addictive personality that I have. I gotta stop touching other things. Sound quality. Um, the addictive personality that I have just drove me to uh, become obsessed with it, and I've remained obsessed with it. If I'm not on, like, doing a, a video edit for someone or a reel or uh, walking the dog or um, any of the number of things I do, dishes, whatever. I'm not doing work or chores or relaxing, um, you know, every other 18 days. I, uh, once every 18 days, um, I am on YouTube learning about photography. Just finished watching a video about, from frame lines about a photographer that, you know, photographed people hanging out. And um, now I'll look for that. You know, it's just like everything, there's a constant churning and learning uh, towards improvement and 
that is the same kind of energy that addiction has. It's a constant uh, chugging and churning and, and uh, a yearning for more and uh, more fog, more time travel, more all that. And alcohol and weed will give it to you for sure. And um, I, didn't, I never really had rock bottoms. So I'm lucky. I, I'm lucky though. It was just like instances where I realized what th these substances were getting in the way of what I wanted to do. And thankfully, I had people in my life that um, suggested this or that. You know, take a break. It was always a break. It was never forever. And they suggested a break. And, and thankfully, I was open to uh, hearing that. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably not. You're probably already a photographer. Maybe you're not sober, and maybe, you know, maybe that kind of, maybe letting go of uh, some kind of aspect of your consumption uh, is what could uh, no longer hold you, it'll no longer hold you back from um, reaching the next level or reaching the next, um, just like speed and, uh, and stamina and endurance and enthusiasm uh, for life. Um, do I recommend sobriety for everyone? No, I don't. A lot of people fucking, a lot of people can just drink and smoke and have a good time and, and live a life that looks way more chill and fun and still accomplish so many, so many things. Like, if it's your thing, it's your thing. Go for it. Enjoy it. I'm not preaching here. Um, but this is for the people that have tried sobriety or thought about sobriety or or maybe they just got sober and they don't know what the hell to do with their time because AI sucks and, you know, you can only, whatever. You know, it's just like pick up something new, something new, you know, that's not too much, there's not too many stakes involved. If it's not photography, it's something in your environment that you're totally capable of. Once I got sober and really committed to photography in the way that I've been and in a way that it's like most of my job and, you know, it's folded into my everyday life in like a essential way um i did slowly realize that my first job was in photography uh which was fun um my aunt had a housing appraisal service and so when i was 16 or 17 however old i would uh drive around kenosha county kenosha wisconsin and take photos of the front of houses because they were needed for a new report um and it was fun just driving around listening to music and taking little pictures and that's essentially what my life looks a lot like now uh on a more grander scale sometimes it's around denver and um going to different neighborhoods and whatnot but it's it's been um it's been a lot of just like little journeys and just driving around looking for something cool there's no addresses specific addresses and destinations where i, I have to get them there's just kind of this freedom to go where the eye goes and have a destination in mind, but not be afraid to meander on the way. Um, and yeah, just a lot of intuition, a lot of listening and, and loving it. And uh, so it's fun recently to take the, my new practice, my new devotion to photography and go home, return home on a, on a long drive and be there for a couple of days and spend one night doing photography in the hometown. Um, it was like a rainy night, a little, a little windy, a little stormy, not too bad. But uh, those are not always elements that I get here in Denver. And the fact that I've, Kenosha is on Lake Michigan uh, was unique. That's something that I took for granted growing up. And so I was like, let me, let me get back there. Let me, let me go start at the lake. Okay. I don't think I've ever been down here when it's like this. Thank you for watching. If you uh, like this, please subscribe. Please like smash that like button, you know, comment. I had two people comment on the first video I posted saying that they randomly found it and they liked it. And 
when I told when I tell you I rode that high for and uh, still am on it, like two days later. Thank you, thank you, two people. It's nice, and uh, yeah, you often think like I'm not gonna comment, I'm not gonna bother this person. At least that's me here. I'm not gonna be another voice in the void. But as a small channel content creator, I, I uh, it, it it psychologically helped me not, you know. So thanks. Do that if you so choose to. Bye.